Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn that how to find the vertical stress increase at any depth of soil due to the embankment loading. Okay, I have been given a question which states that for the embankment loading shown in figure below, we have to determine the vertical stress increase at points A, B and C. You can see this embankment, okay, having unit weight of 20 kN per meter cube, top width of three, uh, 7 meter, height of embankment 15 meter and side slope 1 is to 2 on both sides and the depth at which we have to find the vertical stress increase is 10 meter we have to find the stress increase at three points that is a b and c first we will find the vertical stress increase at point a uh, for this we will make this point a uh, corner at the corner of this embankment loading to make this point a exactly at the corner of this embankment loading we will divide this embankment loading into two parts such that it makes a shape of this uh, trapezoid okay we have two similar trapezoids having the top width of 3.5 meter and uh, this length is 30 meter because the height of the embankment is 15 meter and side slope is 1 is to 2 so the base of this uh, triangle this will be 15 into 2 which is 30 meter so this distance will be 30 meter okay uh, and point a this has a depth of 10 meter uh, to find the vertical stress increase, we have to use the uh, uh, value, we have to use Osterberg chart to find the influence value, okay? And when we multiply the influence value with the unit uh, load, we will get the value of vertical stress increase at point A. So we have to find the value of uh, influence factor or influence value. So uh, to find the uh, value of influence uh, factor, First, we have to find the value of some quotients. So, A, this is this distance, which is 30 meter. Okay, approx this is the base of this triangle, which is 30 meter, and we will denote it by A. B, this is the top width of the embankment, which is 3.5 meter. Okay, Z, this is 10 meter, that is the depth. Q, this is the unit loading due to the uh, uh, embankment loading this is um, uh, gamma into h so it will be 15 into 20 which is 300 kilo pascal after that we will use the osterberg chart you can see this is the osterberg chart on which the horizontal axis we have the value of ratio of a by z okay and these curves are for the value of b by z vertical axes are the influence values okay you can see a typical uh, embankment loading this is the value of a this is the distance b okay so uh, for the left and right side since both embankments are same okay vertical stress increase at a this will be the sum of stress increase due to this left side of embankment and the right side of the embankment okay so for the left and right side a by z both are uh, same a by z this will be 30 by 10 which is 3 and b by z this will be 3.5 divided by 10 which is 0 0.35 we have to find the influence value for a by z is equal to 3 and b by z is equal to 0 0.35 so a by z equal to 3 this is here but the curves uh, these are the values for 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 there is no curve for 0 0.35 so we have to interpolate between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 so from chart for a by z equal to 3 and b by z is equal to 0 0.3 the value of influence uh, factor this is 0 0.438 and for a by z is equal to 3 and b by z is equal to 0 0.4 value of influence factor is 0 0.448 okay after finding these two values we can now interpolate this that is for a by z equal to 3 and b by z is equal to 0 0.3 i is 0 0.438 and for a by z is equal to 3 and b by z is equal to 0 0.4 i is 0 0.448 so from linear interpolation for a by z is equal to 3 and b by z is equal to 0 0.35 i value will be 0 0.443 okay stress increase at point a this will be simply q times the influence value so it will be q times since q is same okay i1 plus i2 i1 and i2 both are same which is equal to 0 0.443 so it will be uh, 300 multiplied by 2 times 0 0.443 which is 265.8 kilopascal will be the vertical stress increase at point a due to this embankment loading okay after that we have to find the vertical stress at 
point B. Again, we will make this point B corner at the corner of this uh, embankment. Okay, so you, uh, we will divide this embankment. Okay, this portion will be triangular and this will be trapezoidal. Okay, and we will find the vertical stress increase due to this triangular uh, loading and due to this trapezoidal loading and then we will add these two to get the vertical stress increase at point B. So for point B for the left side which is a triangular portion value of A is 30 meter and value of B is 0 okay. Z is 10 meter similarly for the right side value of A this is 30 meter and value of B this is 7 meter Z is again 10 meter. Again you will use the Osterberg chart okay so for the left side the ratio of A by Z is equal to 30 by 10 which is 3 and b by z is equal to 0 by 10 which is 0 so from chart for value of a by z equal to 3 which is here draw a vertical line this will cut the curve of uh, b by z equal to 0 which is this curve at some point from this draw a horizontal line which will cut the vertical axis and this will be the value of influence value which is 0 0.39 okay here for the right side which is a trapezoidal shape okay a by z this is 30 by 10 which is 3 and b by z this is 0 0.7 so for a by z is equal to 3 and b by 7 is equal to 0 0.7 a by z 3 which is here draw a vertical line it will cut the uh, curve of b by z equal to 0 0.7 at some point from that point draw a horizontal line this will give you the influence value which is 0 0.468 okay here this is the value 0 0.468 again the vertical stress increase at point B this will be the sum of due to this triangular and the trapezoidal loading so it will be 300 multiplied by the sum of the influence value okay which is 300 this is the unit loading okay this is 15 into 20 so 300 multiplied by 0 0.39 plus 0 0.468 which is 257.4 kilo Pascal after that at uh, vertical stress increase at point c again you will make this uh, point c the at the corner of this embankment loading okay so we will shape this embankment loading into one triangle and this trapezoidal okay and when you deduct this triangle from this trapezoidal you will get the this uh, shape of the embankment loading okay so we have to find the stress increase due to this triangle loading and stress increase due to the trapezoidal loading subtract okay the stress increase uh, this stress increase due to the triangle loading from this trapezoidal loading and we will get the vertical stress increase at point c so for point c for the left side a is 30 meter b is 0 meter z is 10 for the right side which is a trapezoid a is 30 meter and b is 37 meter and z is 10 okay again use the Osterberg chart for the left side which is a triangular value of a by z this is 3 and value of b by z this is 0 so uh, from chart for a by z uh, uh, which is 3 draw a vertical line this will cut the curve of b by z equal to 0 which is the first curve at some point draw from that draw a horizontal line at which will give you the value of the influence value which is 0 0.39 okay after that for the right side which is a trapezoidal loading the ratio of a by z this is 3 and b by z this is 3.7 we can see that in this Osterberg chart the curves are for the maximum value of 3 after this the value of influence value is constant which is 0 0.5 so for a by z is equal to 3 and b by z equal to 3.7 the value of i this will be 0 0.5 okay maximum value in Osterberg's chart so stress increase at point c this will be the stress increase due to the trapezoidal loading minus stress increase due to this triangular loading this is 300 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 0 0.39 which is equal to 33 kilo pascal okay so this is how you can find the vertical stress increase at any depth okay due to the embankment loading okay from the uh, osterberg's chart okay you just have to make that point the corner of the uh, trapezoidal loading and then use the Osterberg chart to find the influence value 
multiplying infants value with the unit loading you will get the vertical stress increase okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned